It's Saturday. What's happening, everybody? We're back. Once again, it's Saturday. And this Saturday, my oh my. I have been lacking for you guys, and I apologize. You know, uh, you know how it is. Uh, life just kind of does what it wants to do, and uh, you know, kind of sweeps you away from time to time. So today, I have uh, actually um, quite a large update. Um, the room is damn near immaculate, with the exception of vacuuming. Don't mind the carpet. Now, hang on. I'm gonna be quiet here. I'm gonna open the door. just so you can get a far back view. Just kind of easier, <clears throat> easier with the door open to kind of go back there and kind of show you guys. So um, essentially what I'm going to do here is uh, just trying to give a quick run through today of uh, some of the new stuff I've done as obviously I've moved things around. Uh, I don't know if you noticed if you've been watching my videos. I had a green chair there and a fuckload of mess everywhere. Um, you know, it's my little boy's first birthday, uh, actually yesterday, and uh, we're having a party for him tomorrow. So I got lots of family, lots of friends coming over. And uh, you know, when people see a room like this, it looks like a museum. When they see it the way, you know, aside from like you know. Um, you know, obviously if you're a collector like me and you know you have stuff like this you understand but at the same time you know if you don't then uh, you know and you see toys just lying all over the floor you just think it's just like oh look it's just a mess of toys it's not you know it's not like this right so uh, yeah let's take a quick run through here I've uh, replaced the clones here that have fallen I just kind of threw those up there, space fillers. I got tree beard up here, He's out and back. Uh, my grandpa actually uh, drew that for me and painted it for me. Took it off one of the Spider-Man covers. I know he doesn't have webs coming out of his fingers, but I said the same thing to my grandpa. But <laughs> when I was young, but uh, you know, really cool of him. You know, he was big in the landscapes and stuff like that, and uh, he. Uh, you know, he knew I loved Spider-Man, so he drew me a Spider-Man and painted it for me, so. Really, really cool. Really stoked about that. Um, I did a bit of a revamp here, kind of moved some stuff around on the, uh, the He-Man. Now, I will go a little bit slower, you know, probably next week or something like that, and the week after to follow. Um, just kind of go in and kind of talk about a little more areas, but it's just, there's so much of an update this week that, you know, I really try and... I just try and give you guys a really good over quick overview and uh, you know show you some really cool stuff that I've done and uh, that I'm pretty excited about. Nothing too much new over here, just the uh, usual spawn. I kind of spruce up the mass just a little bit here. Move some stuff around a little bit. I've actually since uh, actually sold those uh, mass figures now, the ones that I had uh, packaged there. But I still have my set open though, so. I'm not too too worried about it. Someone actually told me about that. Um, I've had that ever since it came out. I had a good friend of mine pick that up for me. He was big into the G.I. Joes when they were coming out then. Then obviously this here. Oh, this shelf here. This is all new. It's kind of a movie maniacs sort of shelf. That was like one of the best scenes of the whole movie. <laughs> so just a few fun things there. Kind of moved this around here uh, through my uh, Supernaturals there and kind of made a bit of a mix makeshift shelf sort of deal, you know. But uh, looked better than before. Put a bit of an old He-Man poster there just kind of showing the castles and stuff like that. Uh, did kind of a 
kind of a makeshift shelf here because uh, those four bins are still house stuff that I have to put out on the shelves. Still, uh, there's Marvel Legends in there, Lord of the Rings, stuff like that. Um, so still a few more things to come out. But for the meantime, I decided to sort of kind of make it look at least kind of cool if it's going to be sitting here. And it takes up less space in the green chair anyways. Out. Since I re vanilla pose my scrolls until I kind of get around to, uh, you know, doing up a big battle scene or something there. Kind of switch this around. Sort of kind of made my own flight sand similar to JR's there, but uh, I'm going to be getting some off him soon too. So I kind of got him sort of flinging around there. It was kind of cool. Daryl was sort of jumping down. I don't know why he's got hair all over him. It's kind of weird. Maybe my fiance was playing with Daredevil. <laughs> Uh, here's the uh, contest entry I won uh, fourth place for from Collecticon's contest. Uh, thank you very much, Collecticon. Uh, you know, Tony and Dalen, uh, Wiki guys, if you haven't already subscribed to them, subscribe them now. Um, you know, and uh, congratulations to the rest of the winners, and thanks like, for everyone that voted for me as well. That was uh, just kind of came out of nowhere. I really didn't expect that, especially with the quote unquote dark video. <laughs> I was trying to go for effect, okay? Come on. But uh, that's all good. I understand. It doesn't really matter. I'm really just happy with this display the way it turned out anyways, just for myself. I, I've been envisioning that for a good of six months or, or more. So I finally got this kind of together. Sort of still half-assed, but, you know, I wanted to get something up. Make it look cool. i got vision there in front of the light, the phasing, so it kind of gleams a little bit more. Nova up there. That's in the 5 inch uh, pre Legends Silver Surfer Wave. Johnny and the thing. That thing was cool, the variant with the uh, trench coat and the hat and the sunglasses. I think that's really awesome. Nothing too much new here. Revamp this a little bit. Just because my daughter kind of knocked them all over. I've since put this shelf together, sort of, it's kind of a collage of different things going on. That's sort of from Siege there, uh, Maximum Carnage, and this is just sort of a, kind of an Asgardian War I just kind of got going on here. Well, it's not really war per se, but you know, they're fighting the Destroyer. A little bit going on here. Created a little bit of a hell scene here. Still sort of lacking right now, but for the meanwhile, it's something. It's there, you know. Fills in the space. Looks better than uh, just a bunch of junk. This little scene here. With an arms deal going on with Punisher, Moon Knight, and Daredevil are just cracking in on it. Whoopa! <laughs> Let's see what else have we got here. That sort of actually standing there we seem to fall over. I gotta do something with that shelf. I haven't really figured out what I'm doing yet with it. So something Mojo-ish, but for now it kind of is what it is. Added that thing in there. It's a little clear thing. <clears throat> it looks like Sue's kind of getting a bit of a force feel going here. It's sort of hard to see in there with the camera.
sort of revamp this up a little bit here. Still need to toss in the background for that one. I still need to do backgrounds in there. I actually have a really cool idea for that. I'm just sort of just waiting on uh, getting a couple things really quick for that. And then I'll be uh, putting together a nice fight scene. Make some look really cool. But for right now, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, I like it. I think it looks cool the way it is. But, you know, nevertheless, I do want a battle scene in there. Um, I do want some better backgrounds and stuff like that. Because obviously there's nothing there. <clears throat> so that's still a work in progress, that is. But, uh, you know, for now, it looks cool. It is what it is. Let's see what else we have new up in here. It's got to be some other stuff. I've been in here for a long time working. <laughs> I threw Logan on the wall there. I'm going to open him. I just haven't really decided on when yet. Kind of got uh, a tin. This is like a tin sign that my fiance got me one year for, I think it was my birthday. Really, really cool. Kind of move the add out around. Threw those in there a little bit. Found my uh, little mini comics that came with the DC superpowers figures that I have over there. Kind of cleaned up the matrix again a little bit. I actually have uh, here. I don't. Don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Oh yeah, there you can. It's an actual film strip from the theater. A piece of film strip. I used to be a projectionist and uh, I'll take this little strip of uh, the Matrix code. It was off one of the trailers that uh, they were just tossing out, but nevertheless, you know, a couple frames of the Matrix code. I was like, that is too cool. Because the movies they have to actually be, get sent back. Can I get that revamp there a little bit? Oh, Battle Beasts. Thumbs up if you remember those. Or Army Ants. <laughs> little fun things from, uh, you know, back in the past. Still nothing really too changed in here. I gotta kind of fix this up a little bit better. That seems kind of lacking. So we got this. Uh, it's kind of all cleaned up down here. Oh, that's my old car club. Natty Spider-Man figures, those are really cool figures, cool cartoon. Alright. Well, I think that's just about it for this week, so... Pretty much, you know, I, I gotta thank you guys for uh, tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's been uh, really, really cool. And, uh, you know, I, I enjoy these chill times. I enjoy, uh, you know, coming in here and hanging out with you guys. And, uh, you know, you guys have been a really big drive to get this room looking tip-top the way it is now. And I really appreciate that. So, like I said, you know, next week um, I will, uh, you know, go a little bit deeper in some areas. Go a little bit slower. Kind of talk a little bit more, uh, you know, about some stuff. And, uh... You know, see what other stuff I can kind of revamp up a little bit too, so. Oh, uh, one last thing too. I know, um, you know, Solid Snake was uh, supposed to be putting out videos uh, weekly as well. And uh, he's he's been really tied up with school and stuff these days, so, you know, just uh, bear with him. 
he hasn't uh, you know hasn't forgotten about you guys he's just been so wrapped up with uh, school and then you know personal life after that he just hasn't had a chance to uh, get anything on film yet so you guys know these things happen but uh, you know he is still there and he, you know he'll be coming back before you know it with uh, some uh, pretty cool stuff so alright everybody well till next week same Red Hulk 80 day same Red Hulk 80 channel you guys enjoy have a good week, and uh, we'll see you then.